this woman to be united in marriage this man I do seated. We gather as a community, family, and friends and feel ripples of excitement and tremors of joy as we celebrate the marriage of Steve and Fatima. God has created a world of harmony. Soaring birds, <clears throat> towering trees, wrist wind, animals of all kinds, each unique, each in relationship and harmony with the others. God's first gift was breathing life into humans and turning us toward each other to live in equality and unity. Steve and Fatima have come here to affirm their love for each other and enter into this sacred union. Marriage is a gift. Marriage is an opportunity for love to be learned. Marriage is a journey which we as the travelers are faced with many choices and responsible for these choices. Marriage is a call to servanthood. Marriage is a call to friendship. Marriage is a call to suffering. Marriage is not an event but a way of life. Marriage involves intimacy in all areas for it to be fulfilling. Today, Steve and Fatima, you come together bringing all of you to this marriage, all of your wonderful parts, all of your hurts and pains. 
You especially bring today all of your hopes and dreams for this marriage. You both have tremendous faith in each other as you trust your future to the other's care. And you have excellent reasons for believing you belong together, but you have no guarantees. Instead, you stand together about to accept on faith the challenge of creating the future together. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. You marry in faith that God has called you to live as one. You promise to be faithful to one another in big things as well as small. Your constant faith in each other will give form and substance to the beautiful hopes you have for your future. Faith is the conviction of things not seen. Unless you're an unusual couple, at times your marriage won't look anything like the vision you celebrate today. You may not feel much evidence of the love you now feel so keenly. At such a time, remember this moment. Remember the hopes and dreams that have been entrusted to your care. Marriage begins with a leap of faith that says, I will before an unknown and unknowable future. Marriage is about being full of faith or faithful to one another. Faithfulness respects each other's ideas and feelings, keeps each other's secrets, guards each other's dignity, and honors each other in public and in private. Faithfulness is built from 10,000 minute acts of trust and trustworthiness. In such faith, you'll find the fulfillment of all the hopes and dreams you have today. May God bless you both. Amen. Steve and Fatima, have you come here freely without reservation to join together lawfully in marriage? If so, say, I have. I have. Before God and family and friends, I ask you to affirm your vows to each other as you enter into this covenant of marriage and begin to share all the joys of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Five years ago, you and I decided we were to be together. I truly believe this has been the best time of my life. I hope for many more years with you. Thanks for putting, <laughs> putting up with me and all my faults and helping me with everything you do. You are my queen, the light of my existence, and the one and only love. To be there for you day or night, rain or shine. My life is so much better since meeting you. You asked what? What about you? You're smart, beautiful, caring. Don't ask for much. You have made me a better man, a better person, and I will always love you for that forever. Tima to be your wedded wife, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, and forsaking all others to be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live? And Fatima, do you take Steve to be your wedded husband, to live together in marriage, do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, for better or worse, for richer or poorer? in sickness and health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live. May I have the rings? are an outward and visible sign of an invisible truth which binds two hearts in one. As such, they are the symbols of the enduring and unending quality of the love which is now expressed between Steve and Fatima. Steve 
Please repeat after me. Fatima, this ring I give you is my personal gift, my personal promise of love, trust, and pride that you are my wife. Fatima, repeat after me. Steve, this ring I give you is my personal gift, my personal promise of love, trust, and pride that you are my husband. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands I'll work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands I'll passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even until the end will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Today you join your separate lives together. The separate bottles of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends. These bottles represent all that you are and all that you ever will be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. Now as you take these containers of sand and pour them into the main container, the individual containers of sand will no longer exist but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, so will your marriage be. First Corinthians 13, 4 to 8 is going to be read by Bernadette. If Bernadette would like to join us for that. short poem of course yeah. and it goes like this may your troubles be less and your blessings be more 
and nothing but happiness comes through your door. Rejoice, rejoice, I say, for today is the beginning of your special day. That's my poem. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful job. All right, yeah, Steve and Fatima. In the future, happy occasions will come as surely as the morning. Difficult times will come as surely as the night. To say the words love and compassion is easy, but accept that love and compassion are built upon patience and perseverance is not easy. Please join me for a prayer of blessing over their marriage. God in heaven, you ordained marriage for your children and you gave us love. We present to you Steve and Fatima who come this day to be married. May the covenant of love they made be blessed with true devotion and spiritual commitment. We thank you for giving them strength and courage to keep their vows. Thank you for helping them to create for their family a peaceful, stable home of love as a foundation on which they can build their lives. When selfishness shows itself, grant generosity. When mistrust is a temptation, give moral strength. When there's misunderstanding, give patience and gentleness. When suffering becomes a part of their lives, give them a strong faith and abiding love. Amen. Amen. Steve and Fatima, and as much as you've declared your willingness to enter the state of marriage with each other, declared the same in the company of God and these witnesses, by the virtue of authority vested in me as ordained minister by the state of Florida, I pronounce you husband and wife, united in the pure and holy bonds of wedlock. What God has joined, let no one separate. Go forth in this life as husband and wife with the blessing of God. Be loving, patient, and kind. And above all, forgive one another as God has forgiven you. It's my pleasure to introduce to you all for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Steve and Fatima Reynolds. Steve, you may kiss your bride. So meet family, please stay close for group pictures. Everybody else, over here with the archers, uh, hot flowers, some appetizers and drinks and uh, things of that nature. Also, there's going to be a game. I don't know if you guys can see, we're going to get a handful of rings. Have you got the rings yet? All right. Well, very shortly, you're going to get rings, okay? And if someone, in a list of key words that you can't say, like bride and dress, and if, you, if someone catches you saying any of those words, they take one of your rings. Surprise, okay? Alright, so. 